the topic of chapter 7 is glimpses of india here are a few questions for you students to discuss in class before the lesson there are four questions first question is what images of people and of places come to your mind when you think of different zones of our country? Discuss in class. Question 2. What parts of India have you lived in or visited? Discuss amongst yourself in class. Additionally, during the vacations, which are the popular places which you have visited with your family, like Agra and other tourist destinations, name them and discuss. Question 3. You may know that the British, the French, the Portuguese and the Dutch have played a part in the history of our country. Can you say which parts of India show French influences? You all think and discuss amongst yourself. Question 4. Can you say which parts of India grow Tea or coffee. There are three parts of this chapter. The first one is a baker from Goa. And the author of the story is Lucio Rodericks. Glossary reminiscing nostalgically for example within family as kids we would have a particular dish and later on after moving away from home we would have a similar dish which would remind us of our childhood days second example as kids in school we would enjoy tremendously within the deaf groups after completing school and moving out getting together with friends would remind us of the good old school days. Molders An aluminium or a metal container that are used to pour batter. Furnaces that use wood for burning. Extinguished Putting off Fire. This is the sign for Goa. Heralding means a signal that something is approaching, like the ice cream men. Second example the thud of the bamboo staff, signaling that the baker is approaching. Rebuke. To criticize someone strongly, disapproving their laid-back attitude at work. Second example, the elders rebuked the children who would swarm towards the baker's basket. Fragrance, a sweet or pleasant smell of perfumes, flowers or Baked breads. Plum physique. Having a pleasantly soft rounded body. Today we shall talk about A baker. The person who makes bread. This is about a baker from Goa. Our elders are Often heard, reminiscing nostalgically about 
good old Portuguese days when they were residing there. During that time, the loaves of bread were very popular. They were loved and consumed by many people. Those breads were soft and delicious. They had various varieties of breads, sweet, salted and flavored ones, which were a delight for all. These are devout even today. A baker is also known by the people as Padar in Goa. Similarly, those mixers, time-tested in five furnaces, have been used since age-old times. The molders that are used to bake the loaves and the fire in the furnaces are still in use. They have not yet been extinguished. In Goa, the baker carried a basket on his head, banging the bamboo on the ground. Just like the street seller haunts to get the attention of people to buy the products. The children would go running towards the ice cream seller hearing the bell. Similarly, after hearing the thud of bamboo stuff, they knew the baker has arrived. They would rush towards him and he would sell the bread. After emptying his basket, when he returned, we met him as a friend. Every morning, he filled the breads in his basket and set out to sell the bread. We again meet and greet him. We kids were keen to see the baker's basket. We would push aside with a mild rebuke. We would climb the bench and peep into the basket somehow. We would select the bread of our choice and the baker would give them to us. While eating, we realized we had not brushed our teeth. It doesn't matter. Even the tiger doesn't brush his teeth, so why should we? The hot tea would wash and clean everything up nicely. On the occasion of weddings, engagement ceremonies, parties, there is a widespread of dishes. But the most important dish which they never miss to serve is different flavor breads. The baker was the most important person of those days. All these breads were made by him. The fire in the furnaces, which still have been used by many people, were very important part of the villages. The baker wears a long frock known as kabai. In Goa, Anyone who wears a half pant which reaches just below the knees invites the comment that he is dressed like a padder and he owns a bakery. After selling the breads in the streets, the baker usually collected his bills at the end of the month. Baking was indeed a profitable profession in the old days. The baker and his family never starved. Their plum physique was an open testimony to this. They all looked happy and prosperous in Goa.